if you want to create content, you could say that. Like, say that, girl. Say that. Can I be in the video? Mm. Can I be on video? No. Aww, this I'm is so sad. this is the reality of being a homeschool mom, always with my kids, and it's so hard to create content. And if you're a homeschool mom and you're a content creator, or you work from home and you're with your kids, you know half the time or whatever the case may be. But for me, I'm always with my kids, and it is so hard to create content and to be able to actually sit down, do the research do the graphics, uh, thumbnail designs, and actually put a video together, edit it. It is so hard and it's so challenging. It's one of those things where right now, recently, I just started telling myself, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and not be afraid to record and just, even if it's in the car while I'm waiting for my son to finish his uh, basketball class. Um, and Right now with my daughter, my, the baby sleeping. Well, but not baby, toddler. He's two years old. Um, and he's sleeping. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, I want to go home and record a video. But I feel like, you know what? I shouldn't have to wait to get home to record a video. So instead, here you have me. I'm actually at a loss for words. I sometimes, when I'm recording like this, to be honest, uh, and even when I have like notes written down or I already have some type of idea of what I want to talk about I right now I just want to go ahead and showcase that it's okay to freeze it's okay if you don't know what to say it's okay if you're afraid if you're not in the best of places like I'm not in my home office I am not I don't have a tripod right now I don't have my computer I'm not sharing my screen and I just wanted to go ahead and kind of build some consistency as far as me posting on YouTube, just because I know myself and because so many things happen during the day. I have to cook, I have to teach my kids, I have to take them to the extracurricular activities. So all those things can easily interfere with my ability to either research a video uh, topic and create the graphics and the thumbnail and maybe script some of those videos, uh, not word for word, but as far as like an outline so that I know exactly how I'm going to teach something, especially when it's like a Canva tutorial style of video. So uh, it's so hard and it's so challenging for me right now. As I speak, as I record this video, I am experiencing a lot of challenge, but I wanted to go ahead and do this because if you're a mom, if you're a homeschool mom, you're a content creator, and you're thinking to yourself, okay, it has to be like the, I can only record if these are the conditions. I want you to challenge yourself and try to do the exact opposite. Don't try to create this like perfect moment because sometimes those perfect moments won't happen until like Saturday for me or they won't happen until Wednesday night. Um, so it's so easy for me to be inconsistent on YouTube or any other platform, but mainly here, this is where I am most of the time. And it's so easy for inconsistency to take place in my life. But now it's like, no, I want to challenge myself and I want you to go on this journey with me, challenge yourself to go ahead and record whenever you can, like put it in there. If, especially if you're very serious about YouTube and you want to make things happen and you want to build uh, uh, your audience and you want to create content and hey, not everything's going to be perfect. Not every situation is going to be ideal. Um, but if you want to go ahead and be consistent, you have to kind of like shatter that train of thinking of it has to be this way. It doesn't have to be that way. It could be any way. It could be this is life. Like right now I'm with my daughter, I'm waiting for my son and I feel like I want to break certain fears that I have like oh my kids need to be extra extra quiet um, and if you're a mom and that's one of the things that stops you from recording videos it's just your kids like being loud or whatever I want to share that a few months ago I came uh, I came across a podcast and it was a podcast about a business mom I really don't have it I actually didn't save it I should have um, I came across this podcast and it was a mom and she was just talking about, you know, her experiences uh, being a business owner, a small business owner. And I realized that in the background, there were like actually kids like screaming, playing around. And I love that she was so authentic about it. I love the fact that she was so, she like, it didn't, it didn't stop her. Like her recording podcast episodes, the fact that the kids were around, like it didn't really stop her at all. 
it, it the noise didn't stop her the just the chaos i guess around her it didn't stop her from actually making it happen and recording her episode it didn't interfere with her need to be consistent and i love that that actually gave me courage to come on here and do this video just because I'm like, wow, it doesn't have to be perfect. My daughter could be right next to me and she can be, you know, I don't know, reading a book or coloring or singing and and it's okay, especially because that is my life. That is exactly what my life looks like right now. Like that's me authentically. I'm a mom and my kids are always around and I shouldn't allow that to stop me from doing what I love, sharing my knowledge, being a content creator and just doing what I love. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this was encouraging, especially if you're a homeschool mom or you're a stay-at-home mom and you fear uh, or, or have this idea that it has to be the perfect environment and it has to be quiet and for you to record a video or just provide content out there. So I hope this was... There was I hope this was encouraging and I will see you on the next video. God bless.